Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th. Yeah, right around the 6th. So, yeah, keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. I do have a few more private reading slots open. I don't think I have very many open. If you want one, the link is in the description box. What do we have for a message today? The uh, truck guy went by before I started. We'll see how long it takes him to go around the block. Um, should be any time now. Anyhow, the uh, window things are shipped late, of course, but they're on the way. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Justice. So justice is all about fairness. All is fair in love and war, right? So there is some, 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 some. There is some fair and just decision that is being made based on the truth, based on the facts, okay? So justice is about to be served. Truths are about to be revealed. Somebody's about to be held accountable for their actions. Good or bad. Ooh. Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is... A need to retreat, a need to heal. We obviously have a painful situation here. Because whenever I see three swords, that's pain. That's painful separation, painful situation, lack of communication, a need to heal. So somebody needs to heal. They may be praying, because we have the praying hands. They may be praying for justice. Justice is coming. Justice is definitely coming. Somebody has been in a painful situation. It's all about to come to a head. It's all about to come to an end. Okay, there's been a lack of communication. There's been a lack of truth. Okay, we got this sword down here. Honest communication or the truth has been a challenge. Okay, because if you were to have a card sideways, it would be a challenge. And this sword is sideways. So... Somebody has been suffering. They've been having a hard time. They've been having a hard time with the truth. But here we have the truth in the upright position. <laughs> so there is some sort of truth that is coming out. It may be a hard truth, okay? It may be a painful truth. It could definitely be a painful truth. But, because this is the Three of Swords. So... I may have a painful truth that is coming out. Now, this could be the death of a situation or idea. It probably is. Somebody may have been tr praying for uh, the truth. They may have been praying for this to come to an end or for some sort of accountability or even for karma. Okay? Whatever, whatever is happening, it is coming. Okay? The truth is coming out. This is a card of karma and truth. Okay, so some sort of truth is coming out. Ooh, things are going to change fast. Really fast. So something is coming in extremely fast. Um, that is moving. Moving fast. This is act now, think later. This is actually exciting. Okay, Wait, this is a new vision. Somebody is, has this desire, burning desire to, to communicate or, you know, go after something that they want. Maybe they've been in isolation. Maybe they were in a painful situation. Maybe they were, you know, 
healing from something. Now they're moving in a new direction and they are moving in a new direction extremely fast. Okay, this is act now, think later, I'm going right now. I'm gonna do this right now. So this is definitely something happening very, very, very fast. This is somebody that is very passionate. They know they're, they're, they're just going for it. I'm going, I'm going for it right now. I mean, you know, it's just, that's the way it is. So, um, impulsive behavior. We have impulse, somebody acting impulsive. You know, they're just doing it. I'm doing it. Ah, now justice can also be a card of the law. Okay, it could be the law coming in. We could have somebody that does something without thinking. Okay, they do something crazy with the Knight of Wands. That is somebody that does often does something without thinking. They may be thinking with their... Well, not the head on their shoulders, if you know what I'm saying. Anyhow, this is somebody that is thinking, um, you know, fly by the seat of their pants. They don't, they don't, they're not thinking clearly by the looks of things. Anyhow, they, they could be, but I don't know if they are. Um, we may have somebody that is sick of being alone, you know, they're, they're frustrated, they're exhausted, you know, they may need some sort of interaction or something. Anyway, we have somebody here that is absolutely in a hurry. They're in a hurry, but... With the chariot reverse, they they could have their emotions all over the place. I mean, that is somebody that is not, you know, they have, may have some scattered emotions. They may have a lack of discipline. Uh, they may be out of control. Somebody may be doing something because they can't master their emotions. They could end up in court. Uh, I don't know whose message that is for. They could be getting in their vehicle and they could be in a hurry. You know, they've been in some sort of pain. You know, they're acting on their emotions. They're definitely taking action. This is somebody that is acting, okay? And, and I mean, they're really doing something. They're doing, they could be doing something crazy, okay? Doing something crazy and they could get stopped. They could even get pulled over and the law could get involved. So if you are out and you're doing something crazy, I would just stay home. Anyhow, the chariot reversed is being stopped. So somebody could get stopped. They could be angry. Somebody could be angry. Um, they can't control their emotions. Their emotions are all over the place. And they, they could, you know, end up, you know, being stopped. They, they, the chariot reversed, I just got to be honest with you. This could be a hospital, okay? They could even end up, it could be worse than, I'm just being honest with you. It could be worse, okay? They could end up in jail. It could end up even worse than that. This, this could be an accident. I'm just being honest, okay? A lot of people don't want to hear honesty. If you don't want to hear honesty, you know, well, then you definitely shouldn't be watching me. So anyhow, um, this is, you know, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So, you know, somebody may be questioned or whatever. Somebody's going to, this is all about the truth and it's about karma and it's about justice being served, okay? So... Action is being taken. We have we have impulsive behavior. Somebody has this desire to do something and they are in a hurry to do it. They are absolutely in a hurry. Um, and there could be some sort of uh, justice or karma that is served. Okay, I, I do believe that we have somebody that is in some sort of pain okay they're in some sort of pain and they may want to you know I don't know get some sort of emotional need met you know what I mean they, they need to get their emotional needs met and they might do something crazy and it doesn't turn out in their favor I don't know let's see Chariot reversed. Disaster ahead. It could be a disaster. I'm just being honest. Ah, strength card. Now, strength is a card of, of uh, courage. No fear. And this is a fearless individual. But, there isn't, but the chariot reversed is no faith. So, yeah. We, hmm. The, the Knight of Wands is, has no fear, and neither does the Strength cards. So we definitely have a fearless individual who has no fear. They have no fear. Hmm. 
brave. We got a really brave individual here. Now, this could be somebody that is coming in. It could be a different scenario. This is somebody that is very strong, very courageous, that is stopping something from happening. And it's interesting with that chariot card reversed because that's a, that's stopping. That's um, what is this chariot reversed? Now that's opening up, letting go of something. Instability. I wonder if somebody's here, somebody is unstable. We may have somebody here that is unstable. They're not stable. They're not secure. They're not emotionally stable. Oh God! Somebody is not emotionally stable. Oh jeez, I'm girl. Mmm. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now that is letting go. And this is no fear. This is also letting go of fear. This is somebody that is fearless. We definitely have somebody that is very brave. They're fearless. And they're in a hurry. And they're not thinking clearly. Just saying. Anyhow, um, this is emotionally. Un this is uh, can't master emotions. You know, emotions all over the place. And this is unstable. <clears throat> Four of Wands or Four of Pentacles reversed. Opening up, opening up, doing something, letting something go. Oh, yikes! All is not as it seems. We definitely have somebody here not stable. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This, th that is not stable. Somebody is very, very insecure. They are emotionally insecure. They are emotionally unstable. And they're doing something uh, crazy. Okay? They're doing something crazy. They want control. They want control. They enjoy power. This is somebody who wants power. They are... Um, I don't know if this is some sort of mental imbalance or what. All is not as it seems. You need to beware. When you get the moon card, beware. This is, this, this is, it's interesting. This is like wild energy. It is. Something is not as it seems. I mean, you think about the, the, the moon is ruled by the shadow. All is not as it seems. We have somebody here that definitely is in their emotions. There is some unseen problems ahead. There is. Somebody is, is wearing a disguise. They definitely are. They are wearing a disguise and there is something that they don't see that is in front of them. Okay? And they're going to get stopped. It feels like they're going to get stopped. Um, or there's some sort of addiction here that may be causing problems. There's Because there's, well, the moon can represent addictions. Could be dealing with a Libra. We could be dealing with a Leo, Pisces, Cancer. We have Cancer a couple times. We also have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We somebody is going to be doing something that is um, not wise by the looks of things. I don't think it's wise at all. And I feel like they're gonna get. They're gonna. Um, they want control over a situation. They are very drawn to something. They are drawn to it. They want it. They want it now. They have this burning desire right now to get this. And it feels like there's they're gonna there's some sort the law could get involved. Okay? The law could get involved. They are making a decision. A decision is being made. Um, they're gonna be letting go of something. They're letting go of something. Um, because they want something else which is interesting. There's fear here, but they're replacing that fear. They're replacing that fear with no fear. They've been in a place of fear, but now they're letting go of the fear. They are letting go of the fear and they're going to face the unknown and they are going to face the unknown. So a decision is being made. It's a very sudden decision. And this decision has to do with, um, something that they want they want something and they want it right now 
And the only way they're going to get it right now is to go get it right now. They got to go get it right now. They got to go get this right now, whatever it is. And I feel like they've been in some sort of dead end situation. It feels like there's some sort of dead end here. They've been in a painful situation. I don't know who it's with, but it feels like they're letting go of that painful situation. And it's interesting that I mentioned faith. They're replacing their fear with faith and they're letting go of the fear and they're going for something. But it feels like there's some opposition in the way. You know, maybe they were fearful of opposition and that's why they didn't go. But now they're going. Now they're going. They're, they are going. But I feel like there's, there's, there could even be some sort of, um, maybe there was fear of disaster. You know, what was, well, if they, if they did what they wanted to do. But anyhow, um, a decision is being made. And I feel like they're ready. They're ready to be honest. They're ready to be truthful. They're ready to do whatever it takes to get what they want. So they're going to go do it. Whatever. And I know that's, that's a mess. And I do feel like it's a messy situation. I absolutely do. Somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. And I feel like they're letting go of it because they're ready to face their fears. And they've been in a state of fear, which is interesting. And now there's, it's like letting go of the fear and, and following through whatever it is that they've been wanting to do, which is interesting. Anyhow, um, a decision is being made based on the truth. This is what I want. This is what I want, you know. And they've been praying. Somebody's been praying. They've been thinking about it a lot. They have been thinking about it. And they've been in a situation that was, you know, it's interesting. It feels like they were in a situation that was emotionally unfulfilling. That it wasn't real. It wasn't real. It was an illusion. You know, somebody was in a situation that was not bringing them the success. And maybe it, it could even be financial success. But they held on to it because they were pretending that it was or they were in some sort of state of illusion thinking that it was. Anyhow. And they've been confused. This is confusion. Somebody has been in a state of confusion. But I think now they've got, this is like the truth. It's like, it is really the truth. So being honest with oneself, I think that somebody is coming out of a state of illusion. And I feel like it's because they've, they've come up against a roadblock, you know, with that chariot reversed. Maybe there's been some sort of accidental, you know, something has happened by accident. Because I mentioned an accident. Maybe there's some accidental um, attraction, you know, or something like that. Or, or desire, or a new vision, or whatever that has presented itself. I feel like something has happened by accident and I feel like this accident changes everything, right? It changes everything. Anyhow, um, I think we have a fearless individual that is about to uh, do something crazy and it is crazy. But I think it's 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 the right thing to do. I think it's it's crazy. I know for me to say that, but it's the right thing to do because it's acting with integrity. It's about doing the right thing, even if it means that something else has to be let go of. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody is letting go of something that they were hanging on to. They definitely are, and I feel like it's because their emotions are all over the place. They can't they can't hold on to it if it's not fulfilling their needs. And I feel like there's a burning desire to have those needs met. So anyhow, I do feel like there's a there's a deep attraction to something, okay? Um, and somebody is replacing that fear with faith, and they it's 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 like you know living on the wild side, you know? Because that's what I feel like this is. I feel like it's wild. I do. I feel like there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. And there, there could be fear of a disaster ahead. 
but I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be facing their fears. I do. I think they're going to face their fears and they're going to let go of whatever it is that they were hanging on to, that they were pretending, you know, that was, they were pretending that it was stable or whatever. And I feel like they, they're, this is, it's the end of the, it's the end of the illusion, right? It's the end of pretending. I, I, you know, I got to be honest with myself. So somebody's about to own the, up to the truth. You know, however that resonates with you, there is some sort of uh, honesty that is coming out. And I feel like there's been a delay. There has definitely been a delay in this honesty coming out. And I think that the delay has been fear. Fear of letting go. Fear of, you know, uh, living on the wild side. Good luck.